checking that venison. That's perfect now. I've got a plate here. I'm just going to take it off and rest it. We just give that five minutes to rest. That should be ready. Now I'm going to turn the heat off the frying pan there. I'm going to use all those delicious juices that are still in the pan. I'm going to drop in some spinach. And just a little bit more olive oil. And a bit of sea salt. Just give that a bit of a shake around. I'm going to capture all that beautiful caramelization on the bottom of the pan. And that's going to be great as we start to plate up our dish now. Oh, I took it out. Alright, so now that our venison is nicely rested, our spinach is just finishing off in the pan there, we're going to grab our cauliflower puree that we made first. And we're just going to pop that into our nice warm um, plate. This doesn't need to be pretty because everything is going to go over the top. So we just want to make sure that we don't waste anything out of that. This is almost going to provide a sauce for the venison as well. Now we've also got our cauliflower and mushroom mix we made earlier on. So with the spinach, we're just going to quickly pull that out of the pan. When I'm presenting it, it's not really important, but it's kind of nice to be a little bit restauranty, and I just try and fill in the empty spaces on the plate so that when people are trying to grab their dinner, they can grab a little bit of everything. Cool. So with the cauliflower, that's still nice and warm. We're just going to pop that through. Then we'll put our Silver Farms venison medallions over the top. And then we're just going to finish that off with a little bit of our mushroom caper and sultana mix. And then we'll just finish the dish with a whole lot of freshly chopped chives. That's perfect. So, Silver Firm Farms grass-fed venison medallions with roasted cauliflower, cauliflower puree, mushrooms, capers, sultanas and sunflower seeds.